Well, maybe I say a few words, huh? and then I think uh, your questions can be uh, raised and uh, maybe ask our colleagues here to answer some of the questions as well. Okay. So as you know, uh, we have been very active in Pishan and Topayo for many, many years, and market business is one of our regular activities we should do. Same thing as visiting coffee shops and also visiting our residents at their home. And we also regularly uh, hold activities to meet our residents living in the constituency. As you can see, the changes in Pishan and Topayo, uh, there have been tremendous change and development. When I first came to Topayo as an MP, elected as MP in 1984, Topayo comprised many of three-room flat, two-room rental flat, one-room rental flat. Nothing more than that. You don't have your four-room, five-room executive, uh, condos, no MRT, and uh, definitely not the same kind of environment you see today. But after many years of uh, development and the different programs that the government implemented, Topayo has been transformed into a very livable place, very central location where many people live in Topayo. But of course, also over time, the population in Topayo also aged when they stay here for a very long time. And so the new developments that we had in the last 10 years, we're able to bring in younger ones coming into our four-room flat, our five-room flat, and also into a very beautiful, uh, newly designed and built facilities and homes where it used to be rental flats. Now we have a 40-story high building uh, with a garden on the fifth floor and uh, all residents have direct access from their unit and there's a multi-story car park where they can park the cars and go up to the flat. And around here in Block 79, uh, the whole block has also been redeveloped into something very new, completely changed from what it was before. So uh, we believe that uh, we have done a lot for our residents, we have served them well, and we want to continue to serve them. Perhaps uh, the others can add. Huh? This is my area uh, that I've been taking care of. Uh, DPM Wong talked about how it's been transformed over the last 27 years since he became MP here. But it's also a mixture of old and new estates. Uh, many of the residents here have been living about 40 years nearly since it was built. And as you saw around this morning, we are seeing more and more of them in wheelchairs. They are old. One in six residents in Topayo is above 60 years old. So one of the problems that all the MPs are greatly focused on is that it's a maturing estate. We are thankful that we looked at this problem and the barrier-free access program was very important. Mayor Zai is a mayor of this town as well. So we made special efforts to try to finish all the lift upgrading and I'm happy to say that within the next two years, every eligible block will have LP finish. But that's only solving part of the problem. Our problem is that more and more elderly residents are living alone. Some of them live with their maid, with a maid, but some of them actually live alone and are dependent on their children. So we have to address this problem and we're starting more elderly care facilities, getting more volunteer groups to come and help. But this is a area which is we are greatly focused on. The other area is our lower social economic groups. There are quite a lot of rental flats here still, and we have to step up uh, financial assistance. When we went around the market, we asked them what the price of the chicken is, what the price of the fish is. Uh, some of them have managed to keep it down, but one gentleman says, you know, can you keep the prices down? I had to be honest with him. I told him that for electricity, uh, it depends on the oil of price. If it goes up, it will, the market will move, but we'll help subsidize where we can. He asked me, will GST go up? You know, I told him that the Minister of Finance said for the next five years it won't go up, so you have to take for his word for it. Then he says, okay, then I can understand. Electricity I can understand, but GST, you assure me it won't go up. I says, the government has said so, so you can take the assurance. 
So I think people understand the elections is coming. They will ask for questions, but our philosophy is we don't overpromise. What we can do, we will do. What we cannot do, we will help. And we want to be honest with our voters. Sorry, thank you very much. Sorry. Come. Uh, I represent our team to give a speech in Chinese. The team of the people in the Bishan Jiangsu Region has been serving for many years. From our Huang Zhengcheng Chief of Staff, he has been here for 27 years. 黄永红医生，还有在鲁丁市长，他们各自在这个区域也都服务了十年，而哈利古马和我，今年都已经踏入了第五年。那么从这么多年以来，跟居民一起走过的这个道路呢，可以看到我们整个区已经进行了非常巨大的改变。啊，过去这里没有。像今天我们所看到的漂亮的新房子，也没有地铁，也没有很多娱乐设施。但是现在我们大家看到的这个集选区，有非常先进的设备，交通是四方八达。我们努力的为我们的居民带来更多的便利，呃，因而他们的呃房地产价，呃，他们的住房也得到了保值。呃，我们认为其实大选是几天的事情，但是为人民服务、为居民打造更优美的环境、更舒适的居住环境、为他们谋福利，这个是多年的努力的成果，不是几天就能够做到的事情。呃，我们以四个字来呃团结我们的力量，我们以努力。过去的努力，还有对未来的、对我们居民的一种诚意，以努力再加上诚意，希望通过这样子的方式能够取到胜利。呃，那么我们也非常关注区里面的呃一些年长人士，他们在各方各面的需求。大家今天跟我们走动的时候，可以看到，呃，跟全国比例来做一个比较的话。呃，相对的来说，我们这个区里面的老人会比较多一些，乐龄人士相对来说是比较多的，所以我们会特别注意对他们做出的一些设施，或者是在设备方面进行的去完善。比如说我们的无障碍设施，呃，已经全面的推动，接下来还会在这方面加强各方的建设，比如说乐龄中心、日间托儿中心。另外一方面呢，就是我们也当然非常关心，呃，居民对生活费的一种忧虑，在我们尽可能的范围之内呢，会为他们做出努力，缓解这方面的冲刺。呃，许多居民其实了解，这不是呃完全在政府的控制范围，比如说油价，它能够它会影响到电价。但是在其他方面，政府会通过比如我们的分红来帮助他们缓解这方面的这个困难。任何的居民生活上有需要的话，都可以找我们帮助他们，而我们也会通过不同的渠道给他们支援。